I remember correctly, I think the last time I used Anorimo Airpods was the Freepods 3, the Tubaba edition. And after trying out the Space Buds, honestly, I can say Anorimo Pods have massively improved since then. What's up guys, Tech Talk with D here. Let's talk about the new Space Buds from Anorimo. I've been using these for slightly over a week now and I think it's time I told you guys what to expect if you plan on getting one of these and whether or not it is worth your 7,900 Naira or approximately $25. Let's get right into it. First off, the design is pretty slick and if you're used to using Anorimo Buds, I'm sure this design isn't new to you because they have something similar to these on the Free Post 4 from last year. From the name of these boards and everything found on Orimo's website, you can definitely tell the design of this board was inspired by the lunar eclipse or the moon. I love the top cover of the case, especially how the patterns run through it. It gives it this glossy look and feel. Though I'm not really a fan of rounded pod cases and I've dropped this more times than I can count because of how bulky it gets after a while of holding it. And it's not so comfortable for your one-handed grip, especially if you're small palmed like me. This is one design you either like or you don't like that. I don't think they are in between. It's either you like it or you don't. I also love how the edges of the case light up when you open it or when it's plugged into charge. For the boards, they look good and feel comfortable in my ears. Although I notice it starts to get slightly uncomfortable after a while of putting it on, but I guess it might just be because I'm used to something different. For the audio quality, these boards are loud, and when I say loud, I mean really loud. It supports 11 millimeter dynamic drivers, and for those who probably don't know what dynamic drivers are, they are the small vibrating parts inside. The airports that create the sounds you hear when listening to music or other audios and the size of these drivers are measured in millimeters and in most cases the larger the size of the dynamic drivers the better the loudness the base is okay and for this price point i really don't have an issue when it comes to that the active noise cancellation is good and does a pretty decent job it goes up to 50 decibels this blocks out a good amount of background noise and if i'm to rate the audio quality on this for the price point i'll give it a 6.5 and a solid 6 in my book is definitely a win. One of the main things I focus on when I want to get an earbud, an earpod, or whatever it is, is the call quality. But most budget earbuds out there are just good when it comes to listening to music or playing any audio. It's either I'm breaking up or the person on the other end of the phone is also breaking up. But these space buds do a decent job when it comes to call quality. For the number of times I've used it for phone calls, it was clear and decent. Battery life is also decent. It takes approximately an hour and 30 minutes to get fully charged. I've only charged this one since I got it. On a single charge, it can last up to 7 to 8 hours and, and that is because I always have active noise cancellation on and Orimo says you can get additional 21 hours from the case. But without active noise cancellation on, it should be able to last at least 10 to 11 hours and an additional 29 hours from the case. Now let's talk customizations. I think this is the part about the space board that gets me excited. When it comes to airbots, airports, and the likes, we can't really do much customizations on them. But Oremo did quite a number of that with the numerous customizations available on the space board. With the Oremo sound app, you can do a number of customizations on this app. But here are a few that stood out to me and you should definitely check out. Like the dual device connection. This makes it possible to be connected to two devices at the same time. Like right now, I have my iPhone and my Android connected to the same board. And once I bring out the boards out of the case, they both connect automatically. So I can be listening to a song on my Android and the moment I get a call, or want to play something on my iPhone, the Android stops playing. And honestly, this is such a cool feature because I don't need to take out my AirPods to be able to take a call on my iPhone. The noise control mode can also be activated and adjusted on the app. You can choose to keep on or turn off the noise cancellation. And that brings me to the smart chat mode feature. You know how we can get really engrossed listening to something on our phone. The smart chat mode is there for when you're listening to something on your phone and someone decides to interrupt you or try to have a conversation with you. This feature works by using the microphone to detect when you start speaking. 
when it detects your voice it automatically pauses your audio and activates transparency mode and that way you don't need to take off your earbuds to have a conversation and once you stop talking for a few seconds it resumes whoever was playing i think this is a cool feature especially when you're in a public space the only problem with this feature i won't be able to sing along with my music normally like i would do and even if i try to have quick conversations with myself i might end up interrupting my music but it's a good thing you can turn it off from the app. Next is the wide area tab. This is definitely another customizable feature I find helpful. This feature expands the touch sensitive area, making it easier to interact with your space board. Once this is turned on, you can tap anywhere around the airbox like I'm doing now to control it. Double tap to pause or play audio. Triple tap to turn on or off noise cancellation or activate transparency mode. The last one I'll talk about is the light effect on the case. By default, it comes with this moonlight gray color, but you can change the color of the light from the app. There are about seven colors to pick from. These boards are also IPX4 rated this means you can wear them during workouts or in light rains without having to worry about damage with this price point this has got to be one of the best value for money earbuds out there with a handful of features if you can't afford to get one of those high-end ones if you're looking for something decent without having to break the bank this might actually be worth considering would you consider this as value for money or do you feel different about this let me know your thoughts in the comment section and if you found this review helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more tech content like this and i'll see you guys in the next one